Hello. Good morning. I am third. I am on my. I am already thirty-three weeks pregnant. So this is my tummy. Okay, so it was very hard. It is hard for me to um, go to sleep. Mahirap. Kasi malaki na ang, malaki na ang chan. Uh, mahirap na siyang, mahirap na ang mag... Uh, change posi position like you gonna sleep sideways it's hard it's hard for you to sleep in your back and then um mahirap nang mag mahirap nang it's hard getting up yes and then especially if your tummy is so, Already big, and then the update is uh, last uh, three days ago. I received a call from my obigaini, and then she said that based on the result, I might. It seems like I have a cholestasis. So what is this? What is this cholestasis? this is a this is a condition in which uh yung bile acid mo ay um mataas cholestasis of pregnancy can cause severe itching especially on the hands and feet but i don't have really that symptom na kumakati yung mga kamay ko at yung mga pa paa but there's also a case that walang symptom na mapakita it usually occurs late in the second trimester or during the last trimester of pregnancy and this is uh, not good this is not good for the baby that is why na uh, uh, binigyan niya ako ng resita. So, ito yung uh, iniinom ko. That is orsodile. Yes, orsodile. Para para yan sa uh, bile acid ko. Fraction, I have fractionated bile acid. At nakakashock yung presyo niya, guys. Nakakashock. So, itong bottle na to, it cost us it cost us look at this. Two hundred 216.77 dollars 216.77 <sighs> yeah it's very expensive for this type of for this medication I need to take this twice a day for one month at pagkatapos ay uh, maglalaboratory na naman this coming uh, what day is today? today is Sunday, this coming Wednesday may appointment ako sa UB at uh, sabi ay i-ultrasound ako to see if the baby is okay and then nag-mention din siya na kasi na uh, Alarming tong cholestasis eh. Kaya minomonitor minu nila ako kapag okay lahat at dumating na sa hustong gulang 
hustong uh, number of weeks si baby so pwede na pwede, sabi ng OB pwede nila akong i-induce para mag-labor para para maging safe yung bata kasi na-alarm sila dito sa cholestasis cholestasis of pregnancy I never heard of this before this is new to me hindi ko to narinig ng sa Pilipinas pa ako uh, uh, napakalaki yung kaibahan pag na magbuntis ka dito sa US at doon sa Pilipinas kasi so far as what I have noticed sa Pilipinas ay uh, yung laboratory works is simple just uh, CBC and urine complete blood test and urine that's it dito uh, yung onang unang uh, check up or unang visit ko uh, the next week ay sinabihan ako na kailangan akong magpa-laboratory 7 small bottle ang kinuha para ipa-laboratory ilan yung magkano yung nabayaran ko 521 US dollars with uh, because I don't have insurance. Na shock talaga ako like oh my god, really? Oh my god. 526. So yung 500 dollars it's already 25,000 kapag ang value ay 50. 1 dollar is 50. Oh my god. Talagang na na shock ako na shock ako sa presyo pero wala tayong magagawa kasi yun yung order ng doctor na kailangan mo na mag na kailangan mo na laboratory para sa kanilang record oh yeah it's really uh, nakaka stress <laughs> nakaka stress dahil hindi ako sanay na ganito yung mga presyo dito but uh, I don't have a choice. Hopefully, hopefully everything is okay. Na worry ako, but David told me just don't worry because everything is is gonna be fine because they knew what they're doing and they they have medicine to control everything. So everything's gonna be fine. So I don't need to worry. So hopefully. The baby is okay and I can deliver this baby okay. So that is the update. I am already 33 weeks pregnant. I'm gonna have my baby soon. Help me to pray na maging okay ang lahat. Okay, that's all for today guys. That's the update of my situation. That's the update and thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to my youtube channel bye bye and have a good day everyone